Hola, mi gente. Welcome to El Sabor, the only Latin music podcast that gives you the hottest flavors of Latin music from all over the world. I'm your host, DJ Mike Cartel, and I go through hundreds of records each month so you don't have to. In this episode, I'm going to give you the top five reggaeton, dembo, and Latin EDM for March 2023. Be sure to hit that follow button and subscribe to catch every single episode, and stay tuned for After the Mix for a quick discussion. Thank you so much for listening, and without further ado, let's go. No sé por qué hicimos lo que hicimos Después de los consejos que nos dimos Tú me conoces mejor que cualquier otro gatito Por eso fue que rico nos dimos Ya no sé si es amistad Nunca nos descubrirlo y tra, tra, tra Ambos nos dañamos la mente Y ahora ya no hay chance que regrese Ey, Wow, estamos locos, loquitos Que si me arrepiento nada, nada, ni un poquito Prendito, bailamos, luego nos atrevimos Un polvito calladito entre amigos Chingue con mi amigo y no me explico Como carajo fue Dañamos la amistad pero rico Y ahora estoy pensándote Mi mente dando vueltas como un disco Y que recordándote A tu que borrachera en Puerto Rico Me da que borrachera en Puerto Rico Ella llamó y yo contesté Le pregunté que se iba a poner Y lo que se puso fue loca Chingue con mi amigo y no me explico Como carajo fue Dañamos la mitad pero rico Y ahora estoy pensándote Mi mente dando vueltas como un disco Y que recordándote A choque borrachera en Puerto Rico Me dice pata abajo y me pego nada na que me alejo
venido al party, tú eres una bandi con cuerpo de Barbie, yeah. Rumbia desde que no tiene ID, se pone mi hoclí, se sube la faldilla. Yeah. Es otra cosa, pero mi corillo dice que es peligrosa. Una experta, es una chimba, a la disco que llega y a la destroza. No le pongo freno, si esa nalga me la pata al suelo. Si se foca, no le gusta lo normal, todo es extremo. Déjame ver todo, yo sé que no es nada formal, pero... Nati, nada de lo romántico, tú te ves cara, bichi, classy, encuentro fantástico, di que problema a ti, tú tocándote, yo loco por entrar, tú sabes lo que me gusta, sigue jugándome, que yo no voy a fantasear, te voy a cobrar la multa, wow. Mami, esto es un arresto, te voy a cobrar esa mirada con impuesto, saca la esposa y yo me presto, y ponme en house arrest, que no me molesto, Fotos de espalda, sabe que está dura, buscando travesura. Ese cuerpo es de Jim, cuida bien su figura. Tu mamá, qué cultura. Qué rico se ve el tatuaje en la cintura. La pantalla en la teta, tiene la combi completa. Hoy vamos a romper la dieta. Aquí no hay miedo, lo dejamos en la gaveta. Tan bonita y tan seria, hasta que la conocen. Ella se transforma. Cuando llegan las doce, tan bonita y tan seria, hasta que la conocen, ya no es un misterio que ahora quiere sexo y me parece perfecto. Pegadito, suavecito, me subo la falda, te 
castígame Le digo papi, bésame, tírame, jálame, alborótame <risa> Papi, quiero perrear Ven, te voy a chocar Pon el bicho a rebotar Siente la pared, la con el fadel. Acá pide 30 y tú más loco que vi la del chill. Dinero fuera, gracias en los bolsillos. Tengo a sex. Tengo un culo que cuando le doy a mí me hace A sex. ¿Cómo es que este loco lo hace? Andaba con los tigres que movían el hace. Y yo te puedo hacer el enlace. Pero tu nivel de demagogia me va a hacer que yo fracase. Medicina, purina, yo mina. Con ella me lo mames, la llamé con tu patilla. Tú le de pito a pito aprendía como bombilla. Montaba en la chico con cola que no se encaquilla. Medicina purina, John Vina, cuando ya me lo mames la llama con tu patilla. Tu ley de pito a pito prendido como bombilla. Acabo en la llevo con cola que no se encaquilla. Dame el piquete, dame el piquete, dame el piquete, dame el piquete. Yeah. 
corazón, pero siempre decidió. Todavía estoy para
juega. Levantamos todos los muertos de la tumba. Cumbara, cumbara, que retumba. No te me confundas. Varias macasinas de la jungla. Tenemos flow, hakuna, matalla, como timón y pumba. Bate, bate de chocolate. Vamos llegando hasta el share base. La metiste y no la sacaste. Te lo doy, pero no la mate. A le gusta mi chapón, pom, 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 pom.
Leo, quedaste un poco, un, un poco caliente por el final. Mira, bobo, ¿qué mira, bobo? Anda, anda para allá, bobo. Anda para allá. Tranquilo, tranqui, tranquilo, Leo. Anda, anda para allá, bobo. 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 Bobo.
sigues tú sin murmurar, sin pedir ni más ni menos, sin esperar, es viendo más. Y si canto y repito más lento, solo esperas al final. Volvemos al comienzo sin calcular, es viendo más. mix for March 2023 for the top five reggaeton, dembo, and Latin EDM, which mm, some people call Latin House. And um, actually, I guess we just started talking about that. And uh, first of all, thank you so much for listening. Thanks for, for sticking around uh, for these little convos. And um, like I said, I try to keep them short and sweet. I know the last few episodes, they went around a little long, and I'm like, you know, that's too long. So I want to bring it back and just keep it, like, again, short and sweet. So, and keep it interesting for you guys in case you do want to listen and just and just hear me talk. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, in future episodes, I am going to have a co-host so we can bounce stuff off each other. Definitely makes that more interesting rather than me just talking about myself. And I don't even have a mirror to look into. So I don't, I'm just staring into a wall right now. <laughs> or my dogs, when they come up and they start whimpering and they need something or they just want to chill with me. But anyways, yeah, you know, be definitely be more interesting to have a co-host. And uh, my co-host going to be DJ Commotion. And hopefully he'll be joining me in about a month or so. And um, I also want to start having some guests on here, interviewing some um, DJs that uh, I've been following and also some artists. And uh, yeah, just make it a little more interesting for you guys, you know, rather than just hear me ramble on about, I don't know, different shit that just pops in my head or whatever. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm not I'm going to try to not talk about, you know, every single track. That's just kind of to me when I was listening back, I was like, that's kind of boring. You know, it's like I'm just reading it to you and goes, oh, here's track number one, here's track number two. But anyways, you guys have the track listing you guys see there. But um, I do want to mention some things about the artist, though, and then um, get a little bit more more in depth. But anyways, let's go back to what I first wanted to talk about was this, uh, what is it called? Uh, Latin EDM. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Or Latin House. Should I call it Latin EDM? Should I call it Latin House? You know, and um, I thought about this for a while because um, I started doing house, not house parties, but um, house, house sets for uh, clubs out here in L.A., and um, big shout out to DJ Intensity and DJ Flix who have been hooking me up with those gigs. But anyways, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a house set, total house set. Uh, like I said, I'm usually an uh, open format DJ or I do my Latin sets. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, I made a, a flyer and on the flyer put EDM. And the other DJs who are actually, this is what they do. All they do is house and techno, you know, and D&B stuff like the drum and bass, stuff like that. Um, you know, they, were, they, they schooled me. <laughs> They said, hey, man, we're not doing Latin EDM. We're not doing EDM, sorry. We're doing house and techno. And they want it really specific, you know, um, because there, there are some DJs, and, and I guess maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe I'm the minority now, but um, that look at EDM as its own genre. So when I say EDM, they're thinking about, like, the stuff you hear, like, on um, pop radio. Like, out here in L.A., that'd be Kiss FM. So um, stuff like David Guetta. Like uh, maybe Tiesto and you know Tiesto wasn't always like pop but you know when he makes his pop records like with the what's the one with Future the business um I think it was with Future but anyway it's on the business um that's considered EDM some old stuff I'm trying to think here um Calvin Harris you know stuff like that Avicii of course like that song Levels that's considered EDM so some people look at that as like mainstream uh, dance music they call that EDM, electronic. And uh, let me back up. EDM stands for electronic dance music. And um, and so anyways, I was using it as the umbrella term because to me, electronic dance music is, is like is the main, I guess, genre. And then underneath that, you got subgenres. You got house, techno. Um, in Latin music, you got huarache, you know, which I feel is a deviation of house. Then you go deeper, right? You got deep house, progressive house, future house, uh, future funk. All kinds of different stuff. So anyways, I'm looking at it as the umbrella term. You know, I'm not trying to disrespect um, DJs that do electronic music and, you know, or try to come off ignorant. I'm aware, you know, that there's two different meanings between EDM and house. So that's the way I'm using it. I'm aware that, you know, it's sometimes referred to as its own genre. That's not, not what I'm saying. But I do need an umbrella term so I can 
put all these different types of um, electronic dance music in there because I don't want to just do house um, because, you know, actually I do, it's, it's tech house that I mix, feature house. It's called feature house. I don't know why it's called feature house. Someone school me on that. <laughs> but anyways, um, Warache, like I mentioned. Um, then there's like classic um, Latin house from the 90s. That's what I call it. And, um, and so, yeah, so that's why I use it because I, I like to play different types of house, progressive, deep. And so I just kind of throw it in there and not just house, but, you know, uh, electro stuff like that. And again, I, I, it's hard for me to call Warache house. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is Warache house? So, um, so yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think, um, I should change it to Latin house? You know, cause the majority of stuff I do is house or just say, fuck it. You know, forget what everybody says and just call it Latin EDM after I explained it to you all, you know. Um, like I said, I, I, I get that there's a genre, but that's not what I'm for referring to. I'm not referring to pop dance music. Because what you, what you tell, well, from what you can tell where I'm playing, you can't even find it on Spotify. So it's not like it's um, quote unquote pop music or stuff you hear like on our pop stations. Like again, like I said, Kiss FM out here. So anyways, yeah, just I don't know what you guys think. Um, it's going to be a poll question soon. I think um, I'm probably going to release it on this one. You know, what do you think? Should I keep it as EDM or change it to house? I don't know. What do you guys think? So anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, doing good over here in Los Angeles. Uh, weather's doing great. It's, it's um, springtime now. Since March 20th, I think that was when springtime happened. And it's beautiful out here. If you guys ever get a chance to come out to L.A., this is the perfect time. In summer, it's really hot. And unless you're staying like in downtown or something, you're going to suffer. You know, no doubt. Or you're going to Santa Barbara. If you're going to the coastal cities, you'll be fine. But anyways, um, yeah, if you want to, you know, travel out farther than there and go to the Valley or Calabasas or Magic Mountain or Disneyland, it's fucking hot. So, um, yeah, springtime is definitely the best time to come out here. So I invite you guys all to come out. And on May 5th, I'll be throwing another party out here. And you guys are more than welcome to come out. And if you do, like I said, tell me you uh, you heard the podcast or you saw me on Instagram, whatever, just so I can take a picture with you guys and um, remember what happened. <laughs> you know, because I do meet a lot of people. And, um, you know, someone brought it to my attention the other week that um, they said hello to me. And I kind of brushed them off. And I'm like, dude, I'm a nobody. You know, I'm not going to brush you off. I'm, I'm just a DJ, man. I mean, I make a podcast. If, if I brush you off, it was unintentional so um you know I, I never mean to do that i always want you guys to come out and talk to me if one especially i'm dj if you want to put a request i'm not one of those djs i go no request i want to know what you guys want to hear you know and um i won't always play your request I'll, I'll be straight up you know because sometimes those requests are crazy you know and i'm like i ain't playing that That's, pff, that'll kill the dance floor you know I, I love metallica but i'm not gonna be playing metallica in the middle of a bad bunny set okay but i uh, anyway so yeah um if I, I still want to hear your request, you know, and I'll let you know, hey, you know, that's, that's not for this night. But if you want to come back next Thursday, I'm doing a rock night. Let's do that. But anyways, yeah, come talk to me, you know. And, um, you know, sometimes I, I can be shy. Like I told you guys, I was really shy growing up and I'm not, you know, the best at social interactions. So um, you got to excuse me a bit on that, okay? But uh, if you do want to get to know me, you know, feel free, you know, and tell me, hey, man, what's up? You know, and I'll definitely say, what's up to you do? <laughs> And uh, give you a pound, give you a hug, and uh, hope you take a picture and then remember it forever. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I do uh, want to know that I don't know what I'm doing makes an impact and you guys enjoy it. So um, anyway, it just kind of gives me a little more fuel to keep going and keep doing this thing, you know. And so, yeah, definitely hopefully come out May 5th. That's my Cinco de Mayo party. We're calling it the Cinco de Mayo Perreo. What? And we only call it Perreo because... Um, I don't know if it's everywhere, but that's definitely a slang term for a reggaeton party. Um, and in case you don't know, uh, little meanings, it means like doggy style, I guess, you know. And um, and it refers to a dance that I believe originated in Jamaica with the 90s dance hall. And um, it kind of looks like you're doing doggy style moves and you have your knees bent and... You're not really doing the active doggy style. It's just kind of you're mimicking. So you got the grill in the front, the guy in the back, and it's kind of rocking to the music. You know, look it up. <laughs> I can't describe it to you. But anyways, so that, that's where it started. And it continues with reggaeton, you know. And yeah, they got a little more crazier with it. Um, but, but even, you know, in Jamaica, it's gotten a little crazy too. I've seen some stuff where they jump off the speakers. And anyways, you got to see it. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, it's like grinding, you know, you got the first person in front of you, putting you in the back and you're, sometimes I guess you can grind if you know the person, but 
You know, a lot of times there's like a little bit of space between you guys. <laughs> you know, you don't want to get an assault charge on the dance floor, especially if you don't know the person. But anyway, so yeah, that's why I caught Pereo because it refers to the, the doggy style dance and um, that the people usually dance to the reggaeton. And anyway, so yeah, and like reggaeton uh, is a, I guess you want to say a derivative of 90s dance hall because you, you hear 90s dance hall and you're, you can recognize a lot of samples that a lot of these uh, reggaeton, reggaeton artists are using and the producers you know, um, whether it's Daddy Yankee, Nicky Jam, um, anybody, you know, they're using a lot of these samples. So um, uh, the new song from, um, was it Nicky Jam, Toya Mil, uh, he samples a song called Bam Bam from Sister Nancy, you know, just, that was the latest one I've heard. Um, and then Daddy Yankee, he samples a lot of 90s dancehall. So anyways, if you love reggaeton, check out 90s dancehall. I think you'll really like it too, you know, um, it's definitely comes from that. And it does, to me, it doesn't sound old fashioned. To me, it kind of sounds just just as good as it did back then, but hey, then again, I'm old. <laughs> My old head over here, what? But um, that, and that's what I used to go to the clubs to and dance to in the 2000s, um, because I I didn't know about it in the 90s when I grew up. I I never heard of it, but when I started going to the clubs in the 2000s, that's when they started playing it out here in LA, and I love it. And um, I don't know, maybe that's why I started liking reggaeton. But um, anyway, so yeah, uh, definitely come out for that. And um, as far as the mix goes, let's go to that. Um, yeah, you know, like I said, I'm definitely thinking about taking it to a top 10 because, uh, again, it was really hard narrowing it down to these top five. And um, if anything, I might do a part two where you get another, you know, like hot. I don't want to call it top five because these are already the top five, um, but maybe the next five. I don't know what you want, what I'm going to call it, but um, or I might just wait till next month and do a top 10. So I want to know what you guys think about that, too. Should I keep it top five? Should I expand it to top 10? The thing is, is that. If I expand it to a top 10, um, it makes the mix way longer. So if I keep it the same thing, the three genres, where I'm doing right now, reggaeton, dembo, and Latin EDM, you're talking about 10 songs per genre. So that's 30 songs, and it's about two songs, a, uh, or two minutes a song, so that's already an hour, you know? And um, I honestly don't really mix like that. I mix how you hear it in, in the podcast, which is I'll play four to five records of a certain genre, and then I switch it to another genre, you know? And I'm always flipping it. And, um, and so anyways, that's why I wanted to do the podcast that way. But then again, I'm missing all these songs. Ah, so I don't know. I might do it like, again, another second top five or, um, might just scrap the whole top five together and just do a top 10. But if I do a top 10, I, I don't think I'm gonna keep it three genres. I'll probably just do two genres. So it might be top 10, reggaeton and dembo, then another one, Latin EDM and pop and then whatnot, you know? So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like it? Uh, three top fives and three different genres of one mix and keep it 30 minutes nice and short or um you also feel kind of cheated and you're like make it longer <laughs> you know and you're missing all these other songs like i know i know i know but anyway so yeah um and as far as this mix goes um like i said i don't want to talk about all the artists but i guess i should talk about carol g because like the third podcast in a row that i'm featuring one of her records you know and definitely one of my favorite artists of course i'm sure she's one of your favorite artists because she did just have the number one album back in March, which was the first time a all Spanish album hit number one for Billboard 200. Um, and that's I'm talking about the U.S. charts. So congratulations to her. She did the damn thing. And um, that album was amazing. I love it. And that album, in case you don't know, it's called Mañana Será, Mañana Será Bonito. You mean Mañana Será Bonito. If you go to Spotify or Apple Music, just click her last album and it'll come up. And there's so many good records on there. I think I like every single song. It's just that not every single song is good for a club environment or party environment, you know. But now nah, there wasn't one song that, that I skipped and I was like, nah, fuck that song. <laughs> They're all good. And, and even music that I'm not really into, you know, I was just like, oh, shit, this is good. And, um, yeah, definitely you got to check that out. You know, Carol G, um, she did the damn thing. And, yeah, her album broke broke records uh, she's the first woman to do that she's the first artist period to do that and um, big ups to her for bringing latino music up to the forefront and doing it damn good man i i think it's just as good as a bad bunny album um, Un Verano Sin ti. um you know i mean I, I love it and i'm playing let me see three four I'm playing four songs right now off the record off the album and you know, I'm probably going to be playing another six or seven. So already 11, I think I'm pretty sure I'll be playing in the club, you know, and four I'm playing right now, you know. So anyway, so yeah, definitely check it out. It's a good album. And and, and I just I want to mention this really quick, too. Um, in other KLG news, as we're talking about KLG, I thought this was really interesting. Um, she's did a, G, uh, in a cover for GQ, a GQ magazine. And 
Hey, I got to give her a lot of props for this. Uh, she came out and said that shit was photoshopped. <laughs> she said, I don't look like that. That's not how my face looks. That's not how my body looks. And, you know, it took a lot of backbone to do something like that, you know, just because you want, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just a DJ out here, but if my face was on the cover, you know, I, I know I'd be scrutinizing the hell out of that and going, do I really look like that? <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, yeah, that, that's what I really look like, you know, and, and it's okay. You know, I don't have to look fucking perfect and my face, you know, um, super clean. Well, my face is clean, but you know, blemish free. I'm a little older. So I got little spots here and there. I got a little bit of gray hair too, you know, but I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I like the salt and pepper look. Um, kind of looks, I don't know more. I look more distinguished or whatnot. <laughs> Um, but at the same time, you know, yeah, I, I give her props for that because, God, I mean, we're all like that, aren't we? We take a selfie and we're like, oh, man, how many legs are we going to get? Ooh. Especially when it's just our face, you know. <laughs> and imagine being on a magazine. Holy shit, you know. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, if I put myself in that position, I I would say, I don't know. You know, I, the touch-ups would look really nice. But, again, I don't know. I don't want to fucking pretend, you know. And then I also look at my real self and go, oh, I wish I looked like that cover. Mm. <laughs> You know, so anyway, so yeah, props to her, you know, and that's just, that's awesome because she's like on, again, the forefront of uh, Latino music. Um, She's a big role model for all the women out there because she's so independent, she's strong, and she's doing it, that she's successful. Um, The most successful Latina artist right now, I mean, currently, I'm not going to compare to Shakira or nothing, but, you know, definitely she's up there. And for her to do that, hey, props, props to you, Carol G, you know, and to call out GQ. That gigantic magazine, you know, it's not like fucking, you know, DJ Music Weekly, <laughs> you know, or something. It's GQ. So, yeah, she called him out. And, um, yeah, check out that article. That's on Billboard. You know, it's April 7th, so you get more in-depth on that. Because um, definitely worth a read. It's a good read. Um, but, yeah, so as far as this mix goes, you know, like I said, um, I, I don't want to get too deep into it. But just as, just going to talk about the Latin EDM a little bit. Um, like I said, yeah, you know. I don't know if it's Latin House, Latin EDM, but I don't mean any disrespect by that. I'm just using it as an umbrella term. Um, but definitely, if you're looking for these records, I know a lot of them are on Spotify or Apple Music. So I just want to mention um, they are on, I've been finding them on DJ City and also on BPM Supreme Latino. So if you're a DJ and you're looking for them, you can literally just copy the the song title with the, the remixer and it'll pop right up because sometimes it's also on YouTube. And um, if you don't have those services, like if you're in a country like, you know, you don't you don't have access to BPM Supreme Latino or um, DJ City, hit up the artists themselves. Um, I'm going to start uh, tagging them on their Instagrams. So at least you can reach out to them, follow them on Instagram, um, hear their new music. And if you're a DJ, and if you're not a DJ, if you hit them up, you, you DM them and you tell them you want their song, their remix, guess what? Nine times out of ten, they'll give it to you for free. Yes, I'm not shitting you. <laughs> That's how I get most of this shit. I mean, sometimes like I'll hear it on the YouTube, I'm like, I don't want to rip it off YouTube because DJs, don't rip your stuff off YouTube. It does not sound the same live. I know it sounds, eh, it's pretty dope in my headphones. Believe me, on a Function 1 system, no, it is not going to sound good. So make sure you buy your tracks on Amazon or, or Apple or, or, or iTunes or whatever, or just get them directly from the artist. And if it's a DJ who uh, remixed it, believe me, I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, they'll give you a download link and boom, you got it. So, yeah, uh, just just let you guys know, you know, uh, sorry, I can't add those on the Spotify playlist. And I started a new Spotify playlist. Make sure you follow that. And uh, that has just the songs that are from the podcast. So nothing else. So if you just want to know really quick, hey, what are these songs? Or you just want to put on the um, a playlist with all the music that I've been finding. Hey, that's it right there. Nothing more. And the other the other playlist still exists, but I changed that to call El Sabor y Más. So that's all the other songs that didn't really make my top five, or that didn't really make it. They did not make my top five, but I still think they're really good. Um, The albums that I review and I pick all the good tracks out of there, that's all there. And a lot of classics. So it's bloated. There's a lot of fucking songs on there. (laughs) So anyway, so that's why I did create a separate one. So just heads up. Uh, make sure you follow the El Sabor playlist and that'll give you all the full tracks or the ones that that are actually available on Spotify and Apple, you know, and um, yeah. And actually, if you are on Apple or Amazon, I'll be making those playlists soon. Sorry, I mentioned Apple like it exists. It's just Spotify right now. Um, but yeah, I definitely want you guys to find this music, add it to your playlist, and send me stuff, you know, and especially if I missed it. You know, this song came out last month, and it's blowing up in my school or in my neighborhood, in the parties. 
he sent it to me. I shit, I want to know, you know. Uh, I'm not trying to be like, man, no, uh, this is this is my top five. You know, fuck, I don't fuck your top five. I want to know what your top five is too, you know, because uh, you depends where you guys live, what, what's going on, and I don't know. I might use it for my set because I want to be different. <laughs> I want to be different from all these DJs in LA, you know. There's a lot of competition, so you know, don't be scared. DM me, tell me, hey man, check this song out, or if you're an artist, let me know. Hey man, check out my song, okay? And I will definitely check it out, and hopefully, if I like it, I will add it. All right. But anyways, uh, like I said, I want to keep this short and simple. And um, thank you again for listening. I appreciate it. This is episode number six. So what, what? Um, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be making this thing. But um, I am getting a lot of feedback. I'm getting a lot of activity, um, more so than anything I've ever created. And if you follow me for a long time, you know I've put mixes on YouTube, Mixcloud, SoundCloud. I do remixes on SoundCloud. And it's hit and miss. But with this, I just want to thank you again for all your support. Gracias por tu apoyo. Um, thank you for everything. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the comments. And um, there's also a new El Sabor podcast and party um, Instagram. So just look up El Sabor par party and podcast, and it'll pop right up, and you can follow that too, okay? So that'll show you all the parties that I'll be doing um, in the name of El Sabor and where I'll be promoting Latin music here in uh, Los Angeles or wherever I happen to tour at. Okay. All right, guys. Well, hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.